The massive Danube River separates two big cities that come together to form one of the most surprising capitals in Europe because of its undeniable charm. The beautiful residential area of Buda connects to Pest, the city's economic and commercial center, through a few bridges. There are several sights to see, and you should not miss strolling around its lovely corners and most iconic locations. The Budapest Royal Castle is a place every visitor to Budapest must see. The inside of the palace is intriguing, but it's worth coming up just for the views over the city and the walk you can take around the entire area surrounding the castle. This neighborhood is full of beautiful streets, lovely shops, and other points of interest. Bathing in a thermal water spa, of which there are over a hundred in Budapest, is a widespread activity. As a result, taking the waters has been a Roman tradition since then. Some come searching for a cure for whatever ails them, but the majority come to have fun and relax, even if we still believe it's the best remedy in the world for a hangover. The Budapest Opera, also called the Hungarian National Opera, is on Andrasi Avenue and it's another place to visit in Budapest. It's a masterpiece, neo-Renaissance-style building built in 1884, when money was not an issue. The inside is a case study in luxury and opulence. The Hungarian capital's most famous landmark is the Parliament of Budapest, which is also one of the largest parliaments in the world. It was built from 1884 to 1902 and has the most impressive architecture. It has almost 700 rooms, including the main staircase, the dome room, and the old upper chamber. A lookout point on the top of Buddha Hill, the Fisherman's Bastion is made up of seven beautiful towers and a statue of Stephen I on horseback. The towers honor the seven tribes that started Hungary. Given how close it is, you can stop by this fortress when you go up to see the Budapest castle and enjoy the fantastic city views from that height. The ground floor of Budapest's biggest market is full of stalls selling fruit, vegetables, fish, meat, and charcuterie. The always clean market features local specialties like spicy kolbash salami and sheep's cheese. Several food stands, restaurants, and shops sell local crafts and souvenirs on the second floor. The Museum of Fine Arts is in a neoclassical building from 1906. It has a collection of art from many different times and styles. There are works by Raphael, Toulouse-Lautrec, Picasso, and Goya. It has the most pieces by El Greco outside of Spain. There are also collections of art from ancient Egypt and Greece. St. Stephen Basilica can be seen from all over Budapest. It may be the most photographed place in the city because it looks so beautiful when lit at night. At 315 feet, the dome is the same height as the Dome of Parliament, whose builders chose not to go any higher. Margaret Island has been inhabited since Roman times. It is a quiet green oasis in the middle of the Danube. It is named for Princess Margaret, who was the daughter of King Bela IV and lived most of her life in the convent on the island in the 1300s. Since 1869, the island has been a spot for locals to have outdoor fun in Budapest. The history of this fancy coffee shop and restaurant inside the New York Palace Hotel is fascinating. Over the years, artists, poets, and writers have liked to hang out there. Marble columns rise to meet the ceiling frescoes and crystal chandeliers in a beautiful Italian Renaissance style. At this Budapest institution, the food is excellent, and you can drink hot chocolate or a martini under a ceiling full of cherubs. The chain bridge, finished in 1849, is the oldest in Budapest. Before it was built, 
you could only cross the Danube by boat or walking on frozen water in the winter. The original bridge was destroyed during World War II and rebuilt in 1949. On each end of the bridge, two massive towers hold up the big chains that give the bridge its name. Elizabeth Bridge was the longest suspension bridge in the world when it opened in 1903. After World War II, it had to be rebuilt entirely, and it didn't reopen until 1963. On the past side, great care had to be taken to ensure that the inner city parish church didn't get damaged during the rebuilding. Gresham Palace was built in 1907. It has one of the best locations in Budapest, right next to the chain bridge. It is a big building with a high atrium and a chandelier, both of which are secessionist touches. Today, the Gresham Palace is a Four Seasons Hotel. The Palace of Arts in Budapest, Mupa, is one of Hungary's most modern cultural centers. Mupa was made for entertaining as many people as possible at the highest achievable level. It has performances by some of the best Hungarian and international artists and even helps create new works. Hero Square is one of the most important places in Budapest. It is at the end of Andrasi Avenue, where it is part of a group of buildings named a World Heritage Site. The Millennium Memorial is right in the middle. It shows the leaders of the seven tribes that came together to found Hungary. At the end of the 17th century, this area was in ruins. It wasn't until the 19th century that many of Pest's most important buildings were built here. Many streets and squares are now only open to pedestrians, making it a great place to walk, shop and eat outside. The many different styles of architecture in Matthias Church show how troubled the building and city's history has been. The first church burned down in 1241, and since then, the church has received diverse fixings on various styles of architecture throughout the centuries. The best way to see Budapest is from the Danube. You can take a boat tour for a relaxing way to see the city or for a dinner cruise while the city floats by. During the summer, tours along the Danube leave from Bigado Ter and are run by several companies. There are also trips to Vienna from the end of April to the end of September. The Gallert Baths are the best of all Budapest's grand bathhouses. Its main swimming pool is probably the best example of neoclassic architecture in Hungary, and it's the perfect place to relax in the healing waters of Budapest. During World War II, Heavy bombing did a lot of damage to it, but it was completely rebuilt during the late 1940s. Budapest is, in short, one of the most beautiful cities in Europe. Whether you want to visit all the cultural sites, bathe in a thermal bath, or go off the beaten path, this city is the place to go. Budapest has big, well-known streets where you can get lost for a while. So get lost and let this beautiful city capture your imagination. <laughs>